Have you ever walked into a room and instantly felt uneasy? Or maybe you entered a space and felt calm and relaxed. What makes the difference? Could it be that our surroundings hold the key to our emotional state? In today's video, we're diving deep into how we can remove negativity from our homes and create a space that nurtures positivity and peace. Are you ready to transform your environment? Let's explore together. Imagine this. You've had a long, tiring day, and all you want is to relax in the comfort of your home. But as soon as you step inside, you're greeted by clutter, disorganization, and an overwhelming sense of chaos. Instead of feeling peaceful, you feel drained. This common experience reminds us that our homes are reflections of our inner selves. By creating a positive environment, we can uplift our spirits and embrace tranquility. Welcome to Wisdom Woven, where we explore insightful teachings that enrich our lives. In this video, we will share transformative advice rooted in Buddhism, focusing on how to remove negativity from your home. But before we dive in, let me encourage you. There are so many views on this channel, but only 0.2% subscribe. So please, like, comment, share, and subscribe to our channel. Your support makes a huge difference, and it motivates us to keep bringing valuable content to you. As we begin this journey, keep in mind that every small change you make can lead to significant shifts in your life. Together, we'll uncover practical tips and profound insights that can help you create a serene and nurturing home. Stay tuned as we will explore the concept of energy in our spaces and how to harmonize our environments. Let's get started. Understanding the Buddhist concept of energy in spaces. Now that you've begun to see how your home can reflect your inner state, let's explore a deeper understanding of why that happens. In Buddhism, everything is interconnected, including the energy that flows through our surroundings. Just as our thoughts and emotions influence our lives, the spaces we live in also carry energy, both positive and negative. Today, we're going to dive into how energy works in your home and how you can use this awareness to create a peaceful, harmonious environment. You may not realize it, but your home is like a mirror. The energy in it affects you just as much as your thoughts and feelings affect the space around you. In Buddhism, we talk a lot about chi or prana, which is the life force or energy that flows through all things, including people, animals, plants, and yes, even your home. When energy flows freely, you feel light, balanced, and at peace. But when the energy is blocked or negative, you might feel stressed, heavy, or restless. Have you ever noticed how you feel in different rooms of your home? Maybe your living room feels inviting, but your bedroom feels a bit heavy or cluttered. These sensations aren't random. They're your body picking up on the energy within those spaces. Every corner of your home holds energy, and it has the power to influence how you feel. In Buddhism, the energy of a space is deeply linked to the state of your mind. When we allow clutter, dirt, or chaos to build up, it can create a stagnant energy that blocks positivity from entering. Just like how negative thoughts can cloud our minds, negative energy in a room can prevent us from feeling at ease. This is why keeping your home clean, organized, and filled with positive energy is essential to maintaining a peaceful life. One powerful teaching in Buddhism is the idea of impermanence, that everything is always changing, including the energy around us. This means that the energy in your home is never fixed. If you feel there is negativity or heaviness, it can be transformed. Your space is alive with energy, and you have the ability to influence it. By bringing awareness to this energy, you can begin to shift it in a positive direction. Think about the objects you have in your home. Each one carries its own energy. Items from your past, gifts from loved ones, or things you've accumulated over time. All of these hold memories and emotions. Some of these may uplift you, while others may bring up feelings of sadness or stress. Part of removing negativity from your home is learning to identify what objects carry negative energy and deciding whether or not they still have a place in your life. In Buddhism, there's a practice called letting go. It's about releasing attachments to things that no longer serve us, whether those are physical objects or emotional burdens. When it comes to your home, letting go of things that carry negative energy can help create space for positivity to flow. This doesn't mean you have to get rid of everything, just the things that make you feel stuck, weighed down, or uncomfortable. By doing this, you make room for fresh, uplifting energy. 
Another important aspect of energy in Buddhism is mindfulness. When we are mindful, we are fully present in the moment. This practice can extend to how we treat our homes. If you clean your home with resentment or rush through tasks without care, the energy you create will reflect that. However, if you approach cleaning or organizing with love and gratitude, you infuse your space with positive energy. Being mindful of your actions and intentions while maintaining your home can be a powerful way to nurture positive energy. A simple practice you can start today is walking through each room of your home and taking a moment to observe how you feel in each space. Do you feel peaceful? Or does something feel off? Ask yourself what might be causing those feelings. Maybe it's the way the furniture is arranged, or perhaps it's the presence of certain objects. By becoming aware of how the energy in your home makes you feel, you can begin to make small adjustments that have a big impact on your overall well-being. Plants, for example, are often seen as a way to bring positive energy into a home. In many Buddhist cultures, plants represent life, growth, and harmony with nature. They help purify the air and create a connection to the natural world. Adding a plant to a room that feels heavy or stagnant can bring new life and light into the space. Another way to influence the energy in your home is through natural light. Light is associated with clarity, awareness, and enlightenment in Buddhist teachings. If your home feels dark or dim, it may be contributing to a sense of heaviness or dullness in the energy. Try opening windows, using lighter curtains, or adding mirrors to reflect natural light and brighten up the space. One thing to remember is that energy is subtle. You may not always see it, but you can feel it. This is why it's important to trust your instincts when it comes to your home. If something doesn't feel right, it's worth investigating. Sometimes, simply rearranging furniture or changing the layout of a room can completely shift the energy and how you feel when you're in it. Water also plays a significant role in the flow of energy. In Buddhist symbolism, water represents clarity and purity. If you have a space that feels stagnant or blocked, consider introducing a water element, such as a small fountain or even just a bowl of water with floating flowers. This can help restore balance and invite the flow of positive energy into your home. Finally, remember that your home is a reflection of you. The more you work on clearing negative energy from your space, the more you'll notice a shift in your own emotional and mental well-being. Just as we practice mindfulness and compassion in our thoughts and actions, we can also bring these qualities into how we care for our homes. In the next part, we will explore practical steps to start clearing out the clutter and creating more space for positivity to enter your life. But for now, begin with awareness. Pay attention to how you feel in your home, and remember that energy is always moving. With mindfulness and intention, you have the power to create a space that supports peace, balance, and joy. Clearing clutter, the first step to inner and outer peace. In our fast-paced world, it's easy to accumulate clutter. We often hold onto items that no longer serve us, whether they are physical possessions or emotional baggage. But have you ever considered how this clutter impacts your mind and spirit? In Buddhism, we learn that our external environment can significantly influence our internal state. Therefore, clearing clutter is not just about tidying up, it's about creating space for peace and clarity. When you step into a cluttered room, what feelings arise? Do you feel overwhelmed or anxious? These emotions are signals that our surroundings are not aligned with our desired state of mind. By decluttering, we can reduce distractions and create a more serene atmosphere. Imagine walking into a clean, organized space where everything has its place. This simple act can help you feel lighter, more focused, and ready to embrace life. To begin the decluttering process, it's essential to approach it with mindfulness. Start small. You don't need to tackle your entire home at once. Choose one room or area to focus on and dedicate some time to it. As you begin, take a moment to center yourself. Breathe deeply and remind yourself that you are creating a positive space for your well-being. This intention will guide your efforts and keep you grounded throughout the process. As you go through your belongings, ask yourself, does this item bring me joy? Does it serve a purpose in my life? If the answer is no, consider letting it go. In Buddhism, we learn that attachment to material possessions can lead to suffering. By releasing items that no longer resonate with us, we free ourselves from unnecessary burdens and make room for new experiences and energies. Let's explore the practical steps to decluttering your home. 
First, gather your supplies. You might need boxes or bags to sort items into categories, keep, donate, and discard. As you handle each item, be mindful of the emotions that arise. Sometimes, we hold on to items due to sentimental value or fear of letting go. Recognizing these emotions is an essential part of the process. As you sort through your belongings, take time to appreciate the items that you choose to keep. Thank them for the memories they hold or the joy they bring you. This practice of gratitude can help you let go of the guilt associated with discarding items. Remember, it's not about the quantity of things you own, but the quality of the energy they bring to your life. Once you've sorted your items, it's time to take action. Donate items that are in good condition to local charities or community organizations. This act of giving not only helps others, but also fosters a sense of connection and compassion. For items that are broken or beyond repair, ensure you dispose of them responsibly. By doing so, you contribute to a cleaner environment and align your actions with Buddhist principles of mindfulness and respect for the earth. After decluttering, take a moment to enjoy the newfound space. Notice how it feels to be in a clean, organized environment. Breathe in the fresh air and let it fill your lungs. Allow yourself to feel the calmness that comes from creating order in your surroundings. This serenity can spill over into other aspects of your life, leading to improved focus, productivity, and emotional well-being. Maintaining this space requires ongoing mindfulness. Regularly assess your belongings and make it a habit to declutter periodically. This practice can prevent the accumulation of clutter and keep your home aligned with your inner peace. You may choose to set aside time each month or season for a mini decluttering session. The key is to remain vigilant about what enters your space and to let go of what no longer serves you. Incorporating the teachings of Buddhism into your decluttering journey can also enhance your experience. Reflect on the concept of impermanence, which reminds us that everything is temporary. By understanding that objects are not the essence of who we are, we can approach decluttering with a lighter heart. This perspective can shift your relationship with material possessions and help you find joy and simplicity. As you embrace a clutter-free home, consider how this newfound clarity can influence other areas of your life. Perhaps you find it easier to make decisions or prioritize what truly matters. You might feel a sense of liberation that allows you to pursue passions and activities that resonate with your true self. Remember, the process of decluttering is a journey, not a destination. Each step you take towards a more organized space is a step towards greater self-awareness and fulfillment. In summary, clearing clutter is an essential practice for cultivating inner and outer peace. By approaching this process mindfully and intentionally, you can create a harmonious environment that supports your well-being. Embrace the journey of decluttering and allow yourself to experience the freedom that comes from letting go. As you create a serene home, you'll find that it becomes a sanctuary where you can recharge, reflect, and thrive. The Role of Intentions How to Set a Positive Vibe in Your Home In our journey to remove negativity from our homes, we must first understand the power of intentions. Everything we do, from the way we decorate to how we interact with our space, carries energy. When we set positive intentions, we invite that energy into our lives. So, what does it mean to set an intention for your home? It means being mindful of what you want to feel and experience in your space. Let's start with a simple example. Imagine you want your home to feel peaceful. Instead of just thinking about it, you can create a little ritual. Before entering your home, take a moment to pause and breathe deeply. As you do this, visualize a warm, golden light surrounding you. Picture that light flowing into your home, filling every room with peace and calm. This simple act of setting an intention can transform your energy in the energy of your home. Now, how do we carry this intention into our daily lives? First, think about the objects you have in your home. Each item, whether it's a piece of furniture, a decoration, or a plant, holds a story and an energy. Ask yourself, does this item bring me joy? If not, it might be time to let it go. When we surround ourselves with things that uplift us, we naturally cultivate a more positive environment. Next, consider your daily routines. What do you do when you wake up? When you enter your home? Setting positive intentions at these moments can create a ripple effect throughout your day. For example, each morning, as you step out of bed, remind yourself of what you want to feel that day. Say it out loud, 
Today, I choose peace. This affirmation can help you start your day with a positive mindset, influencing how you interact with your home and others. Creating a dedicated space for your intentions can also be powerful. Choose a corner of your home to be a sanctuary. This can be a small table with a candle, a crystal, or anything that represents your goals and feelings. Each time you pass this space, take a moment to reflect on your intentions. This practice keeps your focus sharp and your energy aligned with what you want to cultivate in your home. It's important to remember that our homes are not just physical spaces, they are reflections of our inner lives. When we fill our homes with love, gratitude, and positivity, we send a message to the universe about what we desire. This alignment helps to attract similar energy back into our lives. Consider how you can involve others in your intentions. If you live with family or friends, share your vision for a positive home environment. Encourage them to set their intentions as well. Create a family ritual where everyone takes turns sharing what they hope to feel in the home that day. This practice can deepen your connections and help everyone contribute to a shared positive atmosphere. Another powerful way to set intentions is through the practice of mindfulness. This means being fully present in your space. Take a moment to notice the colors, scents, and sounds around you. Are there any areas that feel heavy or stagnant? This awareness can help you identify where negativity might be lurking. Once you recognize it, you can take steps to cleanse that energy, whether through cleaning, decluttering, or simply adding elements that uplift you. Don't underestimate the power of nature in your home. Bringing in plants or natural elements can enhance the positive vibes. Plants symbolize growth and renewal, reminding us of the beauty of life. Even if you don't have a garden, consider adding small potted plants or flowers to your space. Their presence alone can shift the energy and create a more vibrant atmosphere. As you go about your day, carry your intentions with you. Each time you enter your home, take a moment to remember why you are creating this positive space. This connection keeps your intentions alive, ensuring that your home remains a sanctuary for you and those you love. Lastly, let's not forget the importance of gratitude. Each day, take a moment to express appreciation for your home and everything it provides. Gratitude has a profound way of shifting our perspective and amplifying the positive energy around us. When we acknowledge the blessings in our lives, we open ourselves to receiving even more. By setting clear intentions and aligning our actions with those intentions, we can cultivate a positive vibe in our homes. This journey is not just about removing negativity. It's about inviting in the light, love, and peace that we all seek. As we continue exploring this topic, let's remember that every small step we take contributes to a larger transformation in our lives and our surroundings. Mindful cleaning, transforming daily chores into spiritual practice. Cleaning your home may seem like a mundane task, but it can be so much more. In Buddhism, mindfulness is about being present in the moment, and this applies perfectly to cleaning. When you approach cleaning as a spiritual practice, you transform it from a chore into an opportunity for reflection and serenity. Start by taking a few deep breaths before you begin. Ground yourself in the present moment. Feel your feet on the floor and the air in your lungs. This simple act of breathing sets the stage for mindful cleaning. As you prepare to tidy up, remind yourself that you are not just removing dust and dirt. You are also clearing negative energy and inviting in positivity. When you begin cleaning, pay attention to your actions. Notice the sensation of the cloth as you wipe surfaces. Feel the warmth of the water as you wash dishes. Listen to the sound of the vacuum or broom as it moves across the floor. Each action can be a meditation a moment to connect with your surroundings. If your mind wanders, gently bring it back to the task at hand. This practice of mindfulness will not only help you clean but will also cultivate a sense of peace within you. As you clean, you may encounter areas of your home that hold negative energy. Perhaps there are items that no longer serve you, like old clothes or broken appliances. Instead of pushing these things to the back of the closet, take a moment to consider their impact on your space. In Buddhism, Attachment is often seen as a source of suffering. By releasing items you no longer need or love, you create space for new, positive energy. When you find something you're ready to let go of, take a moment to express gratitude. Thank the item for its service in your life, even if it's just a simple shirt that has seen better days. 
This practice of gratitude transforms the act of letting go into a spiritual experience. It reinforces the idea that everything is temporary and encourages you to embrace change. Now, let's talk about the power of intention. Before you start your cleaning ritual, set a clear intention. You might say to yourself, I intend to create a peaceful and harmonious environment. Or perhaps, I want to invite love and positivity into this space. Let this intention guide your actions as you clean. Each swipe of the cloth, each sweep of the broom, is infused with your desire to create a better atmosphere. While cleaning, be aware of the energy in the room. As you tidy up, visualize the negative energy leaving your home. Imagine it as dark clouds dissipating into bright, warm light. This visualization can help reinforce your intention and create a more uplifting atmosphere. With each corner you clean, visualize inviting clarity and joy into that space. Cleaning can also be an opportunity for reflection. As you wash dishes or dust shelves, think about your life. Are there areas where you feel cluttered, not just in your home but in your mind or heart? Use this time to let go of those thoughts, just as you let go of the dust. Imagine each dish you wash is a thought you are releasing, cleaning the mental and emotional clutter from your life. Music can enhance your cleaning experience. Consider playing soft, calming tunes, or even Buddhist chants while you clean. The sound can create a peaceful ambience and elevate your spirit. As the music fills your space, allow it to carry away negativity and infuse your home with positive energy. Remember, mindful cleaning is not about perfection. It's about presence. Accept that some days will be easier than others. If you find yourself feeling frustrated, take a break. Step outside, breathe in the fresh air, and return with a clearer mind. The goal is to cultivate a sense of peace, not to achieve spotless perfection. As you wrap up your cleaning session, take a moment to appreciate your efforts. Look around your home and notice how the energy feels. Do you sense a difference? Take a moment to sit quietly in your newly cleaned space. Feel the positive energy flowing around you. Reflect on how cleaning, a simple act, has brought you a sense of calm and clarity. In Buddhism, every action is an opportunity for practice. Mindful cleaning is no different. By transforming daily chores into a spiritual practice, you nurture both your home and your soul. Each cleaning session becomes a chance to connect with yourself, to reflect on your life, and to create a space that supports your well-being. Next time you pick up a broom or cloth, remember the power you hold. You are not just cleaning. You are creating a sanctuary for your mind and spirit. Embrace this practice and let it guide you towards a more mindful, peaceful existence. Symbolism in Buddhist Decor Creating a Harmonious Space As we delve into the world of Buddhist Decor, let us first understand that every item in our living space can carry energy and meaning. In Buddhism, Objects are not just things. They are symbols that hold deeper significance. They can inspire mindfulness, encourage peace, and create a sacred atmosphere in our homes. When we think about our homes, we often focus on aesthetics. However, in Buddhist philosophy, the beauty of a space is not merely in its appearance but in the energy it exudes. Each piece we choose to include in our decor can either uplift our spirits or drain our energy. Thus, it's essential to curate our environments with intention. Let's start with the Buddha statue. This figure represents enlightenment, peace, and compassion. Placing a Buddha statue in your home can serve as a constant reminder of these qualities. It encourages us to embody mindfulness and serenity. When you look at the statue, take a moment to reflect on its meaning. How can you bring more compassion into your life? Next, consider using mandalas in your decor. Mandalas are intricate designs that represent the universe in Buddhist and Hindu traditions. They symbolize harmony, balance, and unity. You can incorporate mandalas into your home through wall art, tapestries, or even in your garden. Each time you gaze upon a mandala, let it remind you of the interconnectedness of all things. It can inspire you to seek balance not only in your environment, but also within yourself. Another powerful symbol is the lotus flower. The lotus rises from muddy waters to bloom into a beautiful flower. This represents the journey of transformation and enlightenment. Placing images or decorations of lotus flowers in your home can remind you of your potential for growth, even in challenging times. It encourages you to rise above difficulties 
and embrace your inner beauty. Tibetan prayer flags are also a wonderful addition to any space. Traditionally, these flags are hung outdoors, allowing the wind to carry prayers and blessings into the world. You can hang them in your home or garden to invite positive energy and good fortune. Every time you see them flutter in the breeze, remember that you, too, can spread positivity and compassion in your life and the lives of others. Incorporating natural elements into your decor is also crucial. In Buddhism, nature is revered for its beauty and its reminder of impermanence. Consider bringing in plants, stones, or water features. Each of these elements can create a calming and grounding atmosphere. Plants not only purify the air, but also remind us of growth and renewal. You might choose a small indoor plant, like a succulent, which is easy to care for, or a flowering plant that adds vibrant color to your space. Water features, such as small fountains, can symbolize the flow of life and purification. The sound of flowing water can be incredibly soothing and can create a peaceful ambience. If you have the space, consider adding a small indoor fountain. Allow its gentle trickle to remind you of the constant movement of life and the importance of staying present. Lighting is another crucial aspect of creating a harmonious space. In Buddhism, light symbolizes wisdom and clarity. Soft, warm lighting can enhance the energy in your home. You can use candles, lamps with soft shades, or even string lights to create a serene atmosphere. When the light is gentle and warm, it invites a sense of calm and comfort. Artwork can also play a significant role in your home's energy. Choose pieces that resonate with you on a deeper level. Whether it's paintings of serene landscapes, abstract designs, or portraits of inspiring figures, each piece should evoke a positive feeling. When you surround yourself with art that inspires joy, peace, and love, you foster an environment that reflects those qualities. Lastly, consider the arrangement of your space. In Buddhist practice, the layout of a room can greatly impact its energy. Try to arrange furniture in a way that promotes openness and flow. Avoid cluttering spaces. Instead, create areas that allow for movement and tranquility. You might want to consider the principles of feng shui, which align closely with Buddhist ideas about harmony and balance. As we finish this exploration of Buddhist decor, remember that creating a harmonious space is an ongoing process. It requires mindfulness and reflection. Take the time to assess the energy of your home regularly. Are there items that no longer serve you? Are there spaces that feel stagnant or heavy? As you continue to curate your environment, let it become a sanctuary that reflects your inner peace and supports your journey toward enlightenment. By integrating these symbols and principles into your home, you are not just decorating. You are intentionally creating a space that nurtures your spirit and invites positivity. Let your home be a reflection of your values a haven of peace, and a place where you can grow and thrive. The Impact of Sound Using Mantras and Bells to Cleanse Energy In Buddhism, sound is not just something we hear. It's a powerful tool for transformation. Every sound carries energy, and in your home, it can be a subtle force that influences the space. In this part, I will show you how sounds like mantras and bells can cleanse negative energy and create a more harmonious, peaceful environment. Think for a moment about the sounds in your home. What do you hear? Is it the noise of traffic outside, the constant hum of electronic devices, or the chatter of people? Sometimes, these sounds can create an underlying stress, a tension that builds without us even realizing it. But just as sound can bring chaos, it can also bring calm and clarity. In Buddhism, we use sound to clear energy and bring balance to the spaces we inhabit. Mantras the power of sacred words. One of the most profound ways to shift the energy in your home is through the use of mantras. A mantra is a sacred word or phrase repeated in meditation or allowed to focus the mind and invite positive energy. Mantras have been used for thousands of years to connect us with higher consciousness, and they can be just as effective in transforming the energy of a room as they are in transforming the mind. For example, the mantra, Om Mani Padmi Hum, is widely known in Buddhism. It is believed to contain all the teachings of the Buddha and bring compassion, peace, and wisdom. By chanting this mantra softly in your home, you can invite a feeling of calm and harmony into the space. It's not just about the sound of the words themselves, but the intention behind them. When you chant a mantra, 
You are infusing your home with a specific energy, one of peace, love, and clarity. You don't need to chant loudly. In fact, a gentle, soft repetition can be just as powerful. Try sitting in a quiet space in your home, close your eyes, and softly repeat a mantra that resonates with you. As you chant, imagine the sound filling every corner of the room, gently pushing away any negativity or stagnant energy. It can feel as though you're giving your home a spiritual bath, cleansing it of unseen burdens. Bells, the sound of purity and cleansing. Bells play a significant role in many Buddhist rituals, and their sound is believed to clear negative energy and invite a pure, fresh atmosphere into a space. The ringing of a bell is more than just a sound. It's an intention set into motion. When you ring a bell, you're sending a vibration that echoes through the room, clearing away any heavy or stagnant energy that may have settled. Bells are often used in temples during meditation sessions or ceremonies, but they can also be a powerful tool for your home. You don't need a large, ceremonial bell. Even a small handheld bell can have a profound effect. Try walking through your home and gently ringing a bell in each room. Focus especially on corners or spaces that feel particularly heavy or cluttered. The sound will cut through the negative energy like a fresh breeze, lifting the atmosphere and inviting in positivity. You can also place a bell near the entrance of your home. Ringing it when you enter or leave can become a simple ritual for releasing the energy of the day. Imagine leaving behind any stress or worries you carried into the house, allowing the bell's sound to reset the energy of the space each time you come and go. The Science Behind Sound and Energy While the use of mantras and bells has deep spiritual roots, there's also a scientific explanation for why sound can have such a profound effect on the energy of a space. Sound travels in waves, and these waves can interact with the physical environment in ways we can't always see. When we use harmonious sounds like mantras or bells, the vibrations they create can help to break up and disperse any negative or stagnant energy that may be lingering. In the same way that water ripples when you drop a stone into it, sound waves move through the air, subtly shifting the energy around them. This is why sound is often used in feng shui and other practices that focus on balancing the energy of a space. The sound waves create movement, which helps to release any stuck or heavy energy, allowing fresh, positive energy to flow more freely, creating your own sound cleansing ritual. Now that you understand the power of sound in transforming your home, it's time to create your own sound cleansing ritual. This can be as simple or elaborate as you like, depending on your personal preferences and the needs of your home. Here's a simple ritual you can follow. Choose a mantra or bell. Decide whether you'd like to use a mantra, a bell, or both. You may even want to alternate between the two, using mantras in some spaces and bells in others. Set your intention. Before you begin, take a moment to reflect on the energy you want to invite into your home. Is it peace, clarity, love? Hold this intention in your mind as you prepare to use sound to clear your space. Start in a central space. Whether you're using a mantra or a bell, start in the heart of your home, such as the living room or kitchen. This is often the area where energy flows the most, so it's a good place to begin. Move through your home. Slowly move from room to room, either chanting your mantra or gently ringing your bell. As you do, Imagine the sound waves filling each space, pushing out any negativity or stagnation and replacing it with light, fresh energy. Focus on trouble spots. Pay special attention to areas that feel heavy, cluttered, or neglected. This could be a storage room, a corner of the house, or even just a part of a room where you don't spend much time. These spaces often hold stagnant energy, and the sound will help to release it. Close the ritual. Once you've moved through your entire home, Take a moment to sit quietly and absorb the new energy you've created. You might choose to end with a few moments of silent meditation, letting the positive energy settle into your space. Sound and emotional balance. In Buddhism, everything is interconnected. The sounds in your home not only affect the space but also influence your mind and emotions. When you fill your home with calming, positive sounds like mantras and bells, you're also calming your mind and inviting balance into your emotions. It's a beautiful cycle. The peaceful energy in your home nurtures a peaceful mind, and a peaceful mind helps to maintain a peaceful home. Try practicing this sound cleansing ritual regularly, 
Perhaps once a week, or whenever you feel the energy in your home becoming heavy or tense, you'll find that over time, your home becomes a sanctuary of peace and clarity, a space where you can rest and recharge, free from the negativity and stress of the outside world. By understanding the impact of sound on your home's energy, you can take simple, intentional steps to create an environment that supports your well-being. Lighting and Airflow Enhancing the flow of qi in your home In our journey to create a peaceful home, we must pay attention to the elements that shape our living space. Two of the most important aspects are lighting and airflow. These elements can greatly influence the energy, or qi, within our homes. Let's explore how we can enhance them for a positive environment. First, let's talk about lighting. Natural light is a powerful source of energy. It lifts our spirits and makes us feel more connected to the world. When sunlight enters your home, it not only brightens the space but also brings warmth and vitality. To maximize this, keep your curtains open during the day. Allow sunlight to pour into your rooms. If you can, choose light, sheer curtains that let the sun shine through while still providing some privacy. This simple act can instantly change the mood of your space. But what if you don't have enough natural light? Don't worry. You can create your own uplifting atmosphere with artificial lighting. Use warm colored bulbs that mimic the sun's glow. Avoid harsh, cold light that feels sterile and uninviting. Place lamps in corners and near seating areas to create cozy spots where you can relax and unwind. Consider using dimmers, allowing you to adjust the brightness based on your mood or the time of day. This flexibility lets you create a calming environment for meditation or reading, while also providing enough light for tasks. Next, we need to discuss airflow. Fresh air is essential for our well-being. Stale air can create feelings of heaviness and lethargy. Open your windows regularly to let in fresh air. If possible, create a cross breeze by opening windows on opposite sides of your home. This practice not only improves air quality, but also allows stagnant energy to escape and new energy to flow in. If your home lacks good airflow, consider using fans to circulate the air. Ceiling fans can be especially helpful as they distribute air evenly throughout a room. When using a fan, make sure it rotates counterclockwise in the summer to create a cool breeze. In the winter, switch it to clockwise to push warm air down. This adjustment can help maintain a comfortable temperature and create a more pleasant living environment. In addition to these practices, you can enhance the atmosphere of your home with plants. House plants are natural air purifiers, removing toxins and adding oxygen. They also bring life and vitality into your space. Consider adding a few plants to your rooms, especially in areas where you spend a lot of time. If you're new to plants, start with easy-to-care-for varieties like snake plants, pothose, or peace lilies. These plants thrive in various conditions and require minimal maintenance. Creating a harmonious flow of energy also involves decluttering. Remove items that you no longer need or that hold negative memories. A cluttered space can obstruct the flow of qi, leading to feelings of stress and chaos. As you declutter, ask yourself if each item brings you joy or serves a purpose. If it doesn't, it may be time to let it go. Donate or recycle items that are in good condition. This act not only clears your space, but also allows someone else to benefit from what you no longer need. Finally, consider the arrangement of your furniture. The way you position your furniture can influence the energy in your home. Avoid placing large furniture pieces in a way that blocks pathways or doors. This obstruction can prevent the flow of energy and create a sense of confinement. Instead, arrange your furniture to create open spaces that allow qi to move freely. Ensure that seating areas promote conversation and connection, enhancing the positive energy in your home. In conclusion, enhancing the flow of qi in your home through lighting and airflow is essential for creating a positive environment. By letting in natural light, using warm artificial lighting, improving airflow, incorporating plants, decluttering, and thoughtfully arranging furniture, you can cultivate a space that nurtures peace and well-being. Remember, your home is a reflection of your inner self. By fostering a harmonious environment, you can create a sanctuary that supports your journey toward mindfulness and tranquility. Embrace these simple yet powerful changes and watch as your home transforms into a haven of positivity. Meditation Spaces Designing Corners for Inner Peace In the busy world we live in, 
Finding moments of stillness can be a challenge. However, creating a dedicated space for meditation in your home can provide you with a sanctuary of peace and tranquility. This special corner not only enhances your meditation practice, but also serves as a reminder of the inner calm you seek. Let's explore how to design such a space and why it's so essential for your well-being. First, choose a quiet corner in your home where you can sit comfortably without interruptions. This could be a nook by a window, a corner in your bedroom, or even a spot in your garden. The key is to select a place that feels inviting and serene. Make sure it's away from the hustle and bustle of daily life, where you can retreat and focus on your breath and thoughts. Next, think about how to make this space inviting. You can add a soft cushion or a small chair to sit on. The cushion should be firm enough to support you, but soft enough to keep you comfortable during your meditation. A cozy blanket can also be helpful if you like to feel warm and secure while meditating. Remember, comfort is vital as it helps you relax and focus inward. Now, let's talk about ambience. Light plays a crucial role in setting the mood for your meditation space. Natural light can be uplifting, so consider placing your space near a window. If natural light isn't available, soft, warm lighting is a wonderful alternative. You could use candles or lamps with dimmers to create a gentle glow. Lighting can make a significant difference in how you feel in your meditation space. In addition to lighting, consider the colors around you. Colors have a powerful influence on our emotions. Soft, soothing colors like light blues, greens, or warm earth tones can create a calming environment. If you can, paint the walls or add decorative items in these shades. You might also incorporate artwork or photographs that inspire peace, like landscapes or serene scenes from nature. Incorporating elements from nature can greatly enhance your meditation corner. Plants bring life and freshness into any space. They not only purify the air but also create a sense of calm. Consider adding a small indoor plant like a peace lily or a succulent. These require minimal maintenance and can thrive in various conditions. If you have the space, a small water fountain can also be soothing, as the gentle sound of flowing water can help quiet the mind. Another essential aspect of a meditation space is the use of scent. Scents can evoke memories and emotions, and certain fragrances can promote relaxation and focus. You can use essential oils, incense, or scented candles to create a pleasant aroma in your meditation area. Lavender is known for its calming properties, while sandalwood can help ground your spirit. Experiment with different scents to see which ones resonate with you. Creating a space for meditation also involves setting intentions. Before you begin, take a moment to acknowledge why you are there. Whether you seek peace, clarity, or healing, acknowledging your intentions can deepen your practice. You might even want to write down your intentions and place them in your meditation corner as a reminder of your purpose. As you sit in your meditation space, remember that it's not about perfection. Your thoughts may wander, and distractions may arise. This is normal. When you notice your mind drifting, gently bring your focus back to your breath or the sensations in your body. This practice of returning to the present moment is the essence of meditation. Over time, your meditation corner will become a sacred space where you can connect with yourself. Each time you return, you'll cultivate a sense of familiarity and safety. This is your retreat a haven where you can explore the depths of your mind and spirit. Creating a meditation space is not just about the physical aspects. It's also about the mental space you cultivate. As you spend time in this dedicated area, you'll begin to notice shifts in your awareness and outlook. You may find that you are more patient, more compassionate, and more at ease with life's challenges. As we reflect on the significance of these spaces, remember that they are tools for personal growth. In Buddhism, the practice of meditation is essential for self-discovery and understanding. By carving out this special area in your home, you honor your commitment to mindfulness and inner peace. Finally, remember to maintain this space. Just as we cleanse our homes of physical clutter, we must also keep our meditation corners inviting and free from distractions. Regularly refresh the area, changing out decorations or rearranging furniture to keep it feeling alive and engaging. This practice mirrors the ongoing journey of self-care and mindfulness in our lives. Creating a meditation space is a beautiful way to nurture your soul. It invites you to slow down, breathe, and reconnect with your inner self. 
Embrace the journey of designing this special corner in your home and allow it to be a sanctuary of peace, love, and light. Through this sacred practice, may you discover the deep well of tranquility that resides within you, creating a daily ritual for cleansing negative energy. In our fast-paced lives, we often forget the importance of daily rituals. Rituals help us connect with ourselves and our surroundings. They create a space where we can focus on positivity and release negativity. Just like a gentle breeze can clear away dust, a daily ritual can cleanse our homes of unwanted energy. Start each day by setting an intention. This can be as simple as saying to yourself, Today, I choose peace. Speak this intention aloud as you walk through your home. Let these words resonate in every corner. As you say them, visualize negativity dissolving away, making room for light and positivity. Another effective ritual involves the use of water. Water has a powerful cleansing property, both physically and energetically. Fill a bowl with fresh water and add a few drops of essential oil, such as lavender or lemon. As you stir the water, imagine it washing away negativity. You can sprinkle this water around your home especially in areas where you feel heavy energy. This act of cleansing can help you feel lighter and more refreshed. You can also incorporate sound into your daily ritual. Sound carries vibrations that can uplift our spirits and clear stagnant energy. Consider using a singing bowl, chimes, or even your own voice. Start by sitting quietly for a few moments, allowing your mind to settle. Then, create a sound that resonates with you. Let it fill your space and visualize the sound waves pushing out negativity. The vibrations will create a harmonious atmosphere, encouraging a sense of calm and clarity. Lighting is another powerful element in your daily ritual. Spend a few moments each day lighting a candle or incense. Choose scents that bring you joy and peace. As you light them, focus on what you want to release from your space. Picture the smoke carrying away tension and anxiety, leaving behind only tranquility. This small act can transform the energy in your home, creating a more inviting environment. Mindful breathing can also play a crucial role in your daily ritual. Take a few deep breaths, inhaling slowly through your nose and exhaling through your mouth. With each breath, imagine drawing in fresh, positive energy and releasing negativity. This practice not only calms your mind, but also helps to shift the energy around you. Repeat this process several times allowing yourself to feel grounded and centered. To enhance your daily ritual, consider dedicating a specific corner of your home to this practice. It can be a small table or a cozy chair by the window. Decorate this space with items that inspire you, pictures, crystals, or plants. Whenever you need a moment of peace, return to this space. It will become a sanctuary where you can regularly cleanse your mind and home of negativity. Another idea is to create a gratitude jar. Each day, write down something you are grateful for on a small piece of paper and place it in the jar. Over time, this jar will fill with positive thoughts, reminding you of the good in your life. When you feel negativity creeping in, take a moment to read through these notes. They can serve as a powerful reminder of your blessings, helping to shift your mindset. Seasonal changes also offer opportunities for deeper cleansing. As the seasons change, take time to reflect on what no longer serves you. You can perform a more extensive cleaning and decluttering of your home, letting go of physical items that carry heavy energy. As you clear out these objects, make space for new and positive energy to flow in. The full moon is another excellent time for cleansing rituals. Many cultures believe that the full moon has a powerful influence on energy. During this time, you can perform a more profound cleansing ritual by placing crystals or water outside under the moonlight. Allow them to soak in the moon's energy overnight, then bring them inside to amplify the positive energy in your space. Daily rituals do not need to be time-consuming or elaborate. The key is consistency. Make your cleansing rituals a part of your daily routine, just like brushing your teeth or having your morning coffee. By incorporating these practices into your life, you create a strong foundation for maintaining a positive home environment. It's also important to remain aware of your thoughts and emotions throughout the day. Negative energy can sometimes arise from our inner dialogue. If you find yourself feeling anxious or overwhelmed, take a moment to pause. Use your daily ritual to recenter yourself. Close your eyes, breathe deeply, and remind yourself of your intention for the day. Finally, 
Remember that cleansing negativity from your home is an ongoing process. It requires commitment and mindfulness. Each day is an opportunity to reset and align yourself with positivity. Embrace this journey and allow your home to reflect the peace and joy you wish to cultivate in your life. Through daily rituals, you can create a nurturing environment that supports your well-being, encouraging a sense of harmony and balance. Conclusion Sustaining long-term positivity in your home and life. As we arrive at the final part of our journey together, it's essential to reflect on everything we've learned about removing negativity from our homes. Creating a space that feels positive and welcoming is not just a one-time task. It is an ongoing practice. Just like our thoughts and feelings, the energy in our homes can change and evolve. Let's explore how we can maintain this positive energy for the long haul. First, Remember that maintaining positivity begins with intention. Every day, set a small intention for your home. It could be as simple as wishing for peace, joy, or love to fill your space. When you start your day with a clear intention, you remind yourself of what you want to cultivate in your life. This practice can be as effortless as taking a few moments in the morning to breathe deeply and focus on your desire for a positive environment. Next, Regular mindfulness practices can help sustain the positive energy you've cultivated. Set aside a few minutes each day for meditation or quiet reflection. You might choose to meditate in a dedicated corner of your home, surrounded by items that inspire calmness, like candles, plants, or beautiful artwork. This dedicated space serves as a reminder of your intention and helps you reconnect with your inner peace. Incorporating mindfulness into daily activities can also be transformative. Whether you're washing dishes, folding laundry, or cleaning, approach each task with mindfulness. Pay attention to your movements, your breath, and the sensations around you. This mindful awareness transforms ordinary chores into opportunities for grounding and connection. You'll find that these tasks become less of a burden and more a part of your spiritual journey. Another effective way to maintain positive energy is to create a daily ritual. It could be as simple as lighting incense, or a candle each evening as a signal to transition from the busy day to a more peaceful night. This small act can set a calming tone for your home. Additionally, consider playing soft music or chanting mantras during these moments. Music has the power to shift energy and elevate your mood. Engaging with nature is also vital for keeping your home's energy vibrant. Bring in fresh flowers or plants and allow natural light to fill your space. Plants not only purify the air, but also symbolize growth and vitality. Take care of them mindfully and appreciate the beauty they bring into your home. This connection to nature helps remind you of life cycles and the importance of nurturing both the environment and yourself. As you create a positive home environment, remember to share this energy with others. Invite friends and family into your space and create opportunities for joyful gatherings. Laughter, love, and connection with others foster an uplifting atmosphere. Share your journey of removing negativity with those close to you and encourage them to join in the practice of cultivating positive energy. Additionally, it's essential to regularly assess your environment. Are there any items in your home that no longer serve you? It could be clothes you no longer wear or decor that feels heavy. Letting go of these items creates space for new energy. This process of decluttering allows you to embrace a lighter, more open environment. As you maintain positivity in your home, Remember that it's okay to feel negative emotions. They are part of being human. Acknowledge these feelings without judgment and create space for them. You might find that meditating on these emotions or journaling about them helps you process and release them. Your home can be a sanctuary where all emotions are welcomed and understood, allowing you to grow through your experiences. Finally, remind yourself that your home is a reflection of your journey. Embrace the beauty of imperfection and change. Just as life evolves, so will your home. Be patient with yourself as you create a nurturing space and trust that every effort contributes to your overall well-being. As we conclude this exploration, remember that the journey to remove negativity and sustain positivity in your home is ongoing. You now have the tools to create a serene environment, but the most significant change begins within. By fostering a positive mindset and embracing mindful practices, you can transform not only your home but also your life. Thank you for joining us on this journey. If you found this video helpful, please like, comment, share, and subscribe to our channel. 
Wisdom Woven. Your support means the world to us. Keep nurturing your space, and may your home always be filled with love, peace, and positivity.